Welcome back, guys. Check out this video by Justin Waller. All right, Kirby, what do you think about this? Uh, everybody can get their Uncle Tom quotes out for me in the comment section. <laughs> uh, I agree with them. I, I agree with them. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was force-fed this crap my whole life growing up. And I was force-fed the crap so much, I believed it. When I got out of the military, I had this notion that I couldn't find a job because I was black. But he was right. If you have skills that's applicable, that is in high demand, people will hire you. Uh, I used every blame game there was because, especially in a society that we grew up in or the society I grew up in, that was a thing. If it ain't going your way, blame everybody else. Don't blame yourself. But I'll tell every black man and woman that's watching this channel, because you're black, because you're Hispanic, because of your race, that's not why you can't succeed in America. If you pull up, just do it. Google it yourself. I, again, I don't want people just to think that what I say, you can't research it. I don't want this channel to be, oh, because Kirby said it is true. Google it. If because you're of a certain ethnicity, you can't make it in the United States. Just look up the number one income household by race in the United States. It's not white at all. So, so that just killed the number there, right there. But don't let people give you an excuse not to be successful. I am a black man that came from the inner city of Detroit. I grew up with mad roaches in my house. I ain't talking about mad roaches like three or four. I'm talking about hundreds, thousands, damn near millions of roaches, not dollars. <laughs> The roaches in the house, you know, light switch come on, all of them scatter. I mean, we had so many, they even stopped scattering when we cut on the lights. So I came from that situation to where I am now. And I'm still, one thing still stayed true the whole time. I'm still a black man in America. So my race had nothing to do with it. My race had nothing to do with it. My mindset was the thing that made me persevere from that situation. Not letting all the excuses that people tried to pump in my head as a reason why I didn't succeed was because of somebody else. Once I looked in the mirror and realized my failure, my decisions, my way of life where I currently was at the age of 25, 26, which was zero, nowhere, it was because of the decisions and the choices that I made. It was the mindset that I had. I flipped off that switch and stopped blaming everybody else and blaming myself. And I started gaining skill sets. I started learning, gaining knowledge and start putting those applications to work, then life changed for me. I didn't, you know, I didn't have a, the Michael Jackson cream to make myself whiter. It was just going out there, busting your butt and doing the work. Growing up Puerto Rican in a Puerto Rican household, um, I saw it often where people don't apply themselves and they expect government assistance they expect the president to help them to improve their situations. Um, they think that all kinds of success comes from luck or because you did something shady. And I mean, I learned that to not be true. I mean, the way I learned, I, I learned very quickly that especially in this country, there is so much opportunity and the people that are born here miss that opportunity. They they don't see it. And if I, I truthfully believe if you go outside of the country, it reshapes the way you would think. And then you can just see how much opportunity there is if you apply yourself. And probably not just in this country, but in any first world developed country, there's so much opportunity that like he said, if you have a skill set and you applied yourself and you did the work, you would see results from that. So I don't think it's a matter of race. I don't think it's a matter of how you grew up. It's just a matter of how dedicated are you and are you giving yourself excuses? And the, the thing I still find myself doing even now, you know, sometimes I'll be scrolling through the, you know, IG YouTube shorts or whatever. 
it ain't you know they have this you know overcome story kid kid from the hood and and then you know they became a lawyer or a doctor or something and i go to the comment section and then i see oh he's blessed you know god was looking out for him god gave everybody a brain arms legs to use the only thing that changed about him that's different from anybody else is the mindset that he took to have. He probably grew up the same way I did. Everybody saying, oh, you can't do this because you're black. You know, they ain't going to let no black man do this. They ain't going to let no uh, black sister do this or that. And the only thing they did was apply this up. They said they was not going to be the stereotype. They was not going to be the victim. They are not going to be the ones sitting there blaming the world. They just going to go out there and do it. And then they was rewarded for the fruits of their labor. That's simply how it is in America. Now, other countries, y'all might have y'all own, uh, you know, complaints or whatever about your country and race and things like that. I do understand in some countries, hell, even in Africa, everybody's black, but it's a certain kind of black that can't get stuff done because, you know, uh, culture and stuff like that. I get that. But in these United States of America, don't nobody have no excuse. I mean, I've seen, I seen dudes with tats all over their face. And Alex, you weren't born yet, but having tattoos visible, that was like a stigma. You couldn't even get a job. But now I'm seeing guys tattoos everywhere, and they got hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars. I haven't seen, like, Eric Thomas. He, you know, he always talk about it. he eating out the trash can in Detroit, and now he's one of the number one motivational speakers in the world. Just change the mindset. It's all in your mind. It's all the stigma and all the BS the older generations are putting your head growing up thinking that you couldn't do because. The only thing you got to do is say, I can do because. I'm in a true land of opportunity. Don't let nobody else ever let you be the victim. Don't ever let nobody else let you play the victim. You hold yourself to a higher standard. You execute higher and you outwork everybody. Black, white, male, female, the details don't matter. The hardest workers, the ones that put in the work, the ones that put in the action are the ones that succeed in this country. In this country. So I just want to leave it with that. Well, that being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next one.